Good evening, it's Tess Crawley here, Director of Dr Tess Crawley and Associate Psychology Practice in Hobart and Launceston. Um, I have to tell you a funny story. I was literally five seconds ago live to Facebook and the words, have you ever had a day that just doesn't go to plan, had just fallen out of my mouth when one of my little people opened the door, saw me filming and said, what the heck? <laughs> So, so this is take two and it's been a day like that all day and it is very late and I'm very tired so I'm going to keep this brief tonight but I'm sticking to my 90 day vlog challenge and that is why I'm with you this evening. But it gave me the idea, well the rest of the day let alone five minutes ago gave me the idea to talk about acceptance. I don't know if you've ever heard, have you heard the serenity prayer? Now I always get this back to front, so please feel free. If any of you know it, if I get it wrong, please correct me in the comments because I almost always get this wrong. However, I'll give it a shot. It is to grant me, oh, here we go, uh, the uh, courage to change what I can, the strength to accept what I cannot change, and the wisdom to know the difference. I always get that last bit correct, I think, anyway. The middle bit is the one that I am, well, actually the whole serenity prayer. It underpin, underpins a lot of what we do um, in therapy these days uh, with psychology. Um, cognitive behavioral therapy has been um, well researched and is the gold standard of psychological treatments, typically um, in uh, clinical psychology but increasingly um, gaining momentum is a treatment modality called acceptance and commitment therapy. And one small part of the philosophy behind that therapeutic approach is this concept of acceptance. Um, acceptance and change. And so, the, so acceptance and commitment therapy is, is about accepting the things that are um, and committing to change. So committing to action and committing to forward momentum. Um, and sometimes we all have days or incidents that we have no control over and they just roll one mishap after another, after another, after another. And we find ourselves throwing our hands up in the air and saying, I think I should just go back to bed and start again. So that's the kind of day I had today, but it's okay. Started off well, I did go to the gym, so I'm pretty happy about that. So acceptance is a concept that I talk about quite a bit, um, accepting things that have happened. And how do we do that? How do we draw a line in the sand and say, okay, that's in the past now. It's causing me some trauma. It's causing me some sadness. It's causing me some distress. And we will certainly treat those symptoms. So mental health professionals are very good at treating those symptoms of distress. And increasingly, you know, we're becoming very skilled at teaching skills around how to accept the things that we can't change. So in particular, we're talking about things that might be immutable or things that are outside of our control. Um, I had a, um, a client once told me a story about a book she read. And I, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of the book or else I'd put you onto it. But the book was written by a woman who had suffered depression for a very, very long time. And she, part of her recovery involved devising a system for herself where she thought about three key categories. One was, is this, in, in the, the words of the woman in the book, it was, is this in, something that is in God's control? So it's out of, out of uh, or the universe's control, if you prefer. Um, so something completely out of anybody's um, ability to intervene with. So think about weather, weather events or weather disasters, for example. Is this my business? So that was one of the categories she had. Is this my business? Is this something that I can control, that I can change? And the third category was, is this somebody else's business? So not in my capacity to control or change, but it is somebody else's capacity to control or change. So you think about somebody in your life whose behavior you'd like to change. And being able to accept that you don't have control over their behavior is quite a difficult thing sometimes, especially in relationships. Good evening, Frank. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, so being in a relationship and recognizing that the other person's behavior is not something that you can control, having to accept that can be quite a challenge. But identifying the things that you can change and working on those is also part of the challenge. 
So for us, the, the idea of acceptance, it involves a number of skills. I'm not going to go into all of them tonight because it is quite a big topic, but I wanted to plant the seed with you this evening. But the idea of accepting things that have happened that you can't change. So when you've had a, a big day, so um, for us today, we've got a, um, a, a little one with an ear infection completely out of our control, not much we can do and we're waiting for the, um, you know, call the doctor service to arrive and they will be here sometime before 11.30 tonight, we are told. Um, but, you know, that's outside of our control so we'll do our best to just march through the evening and do what we can to keep everybody happy and comfortable. Um, so for tonight, just a brief thought, not anything in depth tonight, but a brief thought, this no notion of acceptance can we accept the things that we can't change? Um, can we say, okay, that's out of my control. That's not something I have any power at all to intervene with or to change or it's in the past and has already happened. Can I draw a line in the sand and use some skills that I might have learnt in therapy or um, perhaps even approach um, the idea of having some therapy to develop some skills so that I can accept those things and that I can find some ways to move forward beyond that point. That's it for tonight. That's just a little snippet. And when I have um, a bit of time, I'm going to talk to you about a book, um, but I'll leave the idea with you now. There's a book called The Happiness Trap um, by Russ Harris, who is an Australian, and he talks quite a bit about this concept of acceptance and commitment therapy. Um, and he has a couple of books that are out and he has a website also called The Happiness Trap. So if you're interested to learn more about that, you can go and have a look at that website. I'll leave the link in the comments for you. Have a fabulous Saturday night, whatever you're up to. Um, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Don't forget to let me know if you're enjoying these videos. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.